Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Back again after a long day. I realize I've been posting videos later and later in the night, but uh, there's not really much I can do about that these days. It's been a busy weekend. Um, I will try and get them up earlier and uh, see what I can do. But anyway, here tonight to talk to you about something that's been troubling me for uh, quite a while now. And uh, obviously it's something that's been overplayed again and again on YouTube and uh, elsewhere on the internet. But uh, police these days really going crazy. Now my uncle is a cop and I know a lot of cops here where I live. Not because I've had any trouble with them but because they're friends of the family, uh, personal friends, things like that, and uh, for the most part, they're they're good cops. And you know, I realize that cops they uh, they go through a lot of crap. And if I was a cop, especially in some of the places that I've lived, you know, I would be afraid for my life in a lot of situations. But there are some situations where things get. Uh, we'll say, out of hand, um, but not from the person that the, that the policeman or uh, several policemen are dealing with. Now, you know, I've always kind of thought that the non-lethal weapons that are used are kind of an excuse to use a weapon in cases where, you know, it would not have been possible before because had you just used your gun on somebody, you would seriously injure and or kill them. But as we're finding out more and more, a lot of these non-lethal weapons uh, really are lethal. You know, sometimes shooting somebody with a taser is just as fatal as shooting them in the chest. Um, but if you're really trying to just disable somebody in order to make them compliant, I mean, you could just as easily shoot them in the leg with a nine millimeter. <laughs> now, granted, uh, that kind of forethought into a dramatic situation isn't always possible, but, uh, you know, I, I, I go on binges on YouTube and elsewhere where I, I'll just research a certain topic and uh, for a while now, I've been on the police brutality kick, you know, watching all these videos of police just going wild. And I realized that um, a lot of times it's easy to get caught up in that and say, oh, all police, you know, are just giant uh, douchebags. But uh, that's not necessarily the case. But I think I can safely say now more and more that police really are overstepping the bounds of what's acceptable. And uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. You know, there's really no excuse for tasering a pregnant woman uh, unless she is putting your life in danger. Uh, and even in that, even in that case, I think, you know, you should be taking extreme caution. Um, in the case of uh, a of a uh, woman in Tampa, her name was Angel Adams. She was eight months pregnant, and she did not have a weapon. And uh, in this case, she was not being compliant, but they tasered her. And and you know, I think, you know, we have to analyze here. What is it? What does a stun gun or or a taser do to you? You know, it disables your nervous system. And with a woman carrying and uh, a fetus, you know, it's it's going to disable that fetus's nervous system too, and they're not resilient, especially in the womb. Um, so that could have been really a really terrible situation uh, for both the mother and that police department, because had that child died, you would think shit would go down, but, uh, you know, I'm not so sure that that's the case because in cases where people are killed uh, ridiculously, 
Uh, it doesn't seem to get the type of attention it needs to get and the type of punishments deserving don't come down. Uh, for example, I know a lot of you have probably heard about the old, uh, like 68-year-old black man um, in New York who, I guess his, uh, he had one of those like life alert things and it went off by accident and the police showed up and he ended up telling the police, you know, I'm fine, um, just leave me alone. Well, you know, you say that to a cop and the cop's like, yeah, I don't know, this thing just goes off and why should I leave you alone? You know, what's, uh, what's the issue here that you can't accept a cop into your home? So they break into this man's home and he is a war veteran. He was formerly in, uh, in uh, one part of the armed forces and they shoot him. So they weren't even called there because a crime was being committed or in the process of happening. It was because his life alert uh, button or unit went off mistakenly and he told the police to leave his residence, which he has every right to do. Now, the, uh, the guy on the other end of his uh, alarm unit has the, the conversation recorded and you can hear several racial slurs being thrown at this man and the police just acting like uh, just they have this superiority thing going on. You know, they're getting in because they, they want to and obviously he didn't comply. He ends up dead and shot. Completely fucking ridiculous. Uh, another one. <laughs> and this... This is... This is ridiculous not as tragic fortunately but uh a young 17 year old girl black girl was working at wendy's and um cop hands her the money she gives her the she gives him the change well then the cop comes into the restaurant saying that he gave her a 20 but she only gave him change as though he had handed her a 10 dollar bill um and, you know, were it me, and that were the case, or if I thought that was the case, you know, I would take it up with the manager. Well, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go barging in behind the counter and accost the woman at the register because the police would be called if, that, if I were to do that. Well, this policeman takes it into his own hands to you know, cross over behind the counter, go to the, the lady at the drive-thru, or the girl at the drive-thru, and uh, arrest her. And when she refuses to be arrested, he pepper sprays her, and uh, that cop actually ended up getting fired, thankfully. Um, and they, when reviewing the surveillance tapes, it was found that, uh, you know, she, he did not give her a $20 bill. It sounds to me like a cop trying to abuse his power and just get a little bit extra money. But I could be wrong. Uh, we have another one here. A Latino man named uh, Ernest Atencio. Atencio, excuse me. Uh, another veteran. And... Um, he uh he was arrested and he's it's interesting because the surveillance tape from the uh police department shows him surrounded by at least 10 people and i can't quite tell if he's just refusing to listen to verbal commands or what have you but they end up uh grabbing him and throwing him on the floor now, there's, you know, like nine or ten guys, policemen, on top of him. At that point, there's no need to taser somebody, even if they're not being compliant, because really, they already have no choice to be, but to be compliant uh, by force, because you have fucking nine guys on top of you. <laughs> so, later in the surveillance tape, 
he ends up being tased at least three times, stripped of his clothes, so he's naked, and he's unresponsive already, and uh, thrown into a holding cell where he is clearly unconscious for nine minutes, nine or ten minutes. And when they finally realize he's in there naked on the floor, unconscious and unresponsive for the past ten minutes, uh, they come in and realize that he's dead. Um, so, you know, just a, just a few particular cases uh, that I wanted to uh, kind of just show you guys and, and you know, get, give, a, give you kind of taste of how crazy things really are. And, you know, uh, I remember the story of a protest, and I can't remember exactly where this was, but you could probably easily find it on YouTube. A guy's filming himself uh, talking about the pro protest that he's at where uh, there were a few peaceful protesters who weren't rioting or anything, and he clearly shows them all just sitting down and really just talking amongst themselves. And then there's people passing through the park, you know, or wherever this was, on their normal routes, walking to work and walking with their families to go and get food or something like that. And they're not allowed to leave uh, this area because the cops, the, um, the riot, you know, in all their riot gear, are not allowing anybody to leave this center of protest. So now you have the peaceful protesters being surrounded by riot police. You have people trying to get to work that aren't allowed to leave the line. So I mean, what if these protesters actually wanted to stop protesting? How would how the fuck would they get out of there? Um, and then you know people just walking with their families, not allowed to leave. So this circle of riot police keeps circling in closer and closer and closer. And then finally tells everybody, everybody there, that they're all under arrest. The fuck is that about? Seriously. You're going to arrest people who, A, aren't breaking the law. B, aren't all the protesters that you're, uh, that you're egotistically pissed off with. And, and then arrest, and then just it boggles my mind that this kind of thing is happening and it's happening more and more and i see a lot i see people give uh, other people on the internet a lot of shit for promoting you know filming the police and um trying to s stand up for your rights against them because they think that oh police are they have a tough job and they're scared for their lives well, you know, that is the case, and that may be true, but that does not give you the right to uh, do whatever the fuck you want um, in the in the case of myself. You know, just because I'm scared for my life, if I shoot somebody, you know, I'm going to be punished for that in some way, whether it be just a, a lengthy court process, maybe... Uh, Maybe I'll be brought up on murder charges, or maybe the motherfucker will sue me for me shooting him in the leg when he was robbing my house. You know, it's like more and more, the people who are trying to stand up for their liberty and fight for their rights, peaceful protests, doing things the way that uh, have always been done and have been touted as the American way, are being punished more than the, than the actual criminals are. Um... Things got to things have to change. Uh, this country, as the old men in movies like to say, is going to hell, and it really is because if if this kind of thing is allowed to go on, and it almost a hundred percent of the time is, you know, rarely do I read these cases where the offending officer is actually fired. Um, it's got to stop. It really does, and uh, it, it, it enrages me when I see this kind of thing, and it should enrage you too. And I suggest that you, if you haven't, uh, you know, just check out a couple of, of the videos on YouTube and then start reading the news stories and uh, start paying attention. And, uh, you know, you'll see that uh, it's a trend that 
can't be localized to just a couple of bad cops at this point. Um, and I think it's great that we have the tools now. You know, everybody has a, has a video camera in their pocket almost these days. And I think that we should utilize that and uh, show that uh, we're not going to be fucked with like this any longer. Anyway, have a good night, guys.